Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your news shot. Well, it appears that uh, the Department of Education is having some issues collecting on defaulted student loans. Listen to this. This is shtfplan.com. They mirrored an article by Zero Hedge. The crisis has become pandemic. System to collect defaulted student loans is no longer functioning. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. All you people out there that have gotten rooked by the secondary, the college ed education system, you know, academia, if you will, I being one of them, can tell you that I would stop at nothing to make those loans go away. And it's unfortunate that so many people have been rooked into going to college thinking that a four-year university is the solution to all your problems. Because now what we're seeing is AI taking over a lot of the lower income jobs. You know, you go to a kiosk now instead of going to a teller at McDonald's, at Wawa, other uh, establishments. They've taken care of that. But they're also now starting to work their way into medicine, AI. Now doctors will just take uh, data gleaned from, say, blood tests, any sort of MRIs, CAT scans, tests, plug all that information into a computer, and the computer spits out a diagnosis. The doctor no longer has to worry about that. It also cuts down on the time. They can see more patients, yada, yada, yada. You know the routine. They make more money. Well, now the Department of Education, which uses a system uh, to collect on defaulted student loans, that system's come to a complete stop. And in the last month, it's left an estimated 91,000 accounts in limbo when the agency ordered debt collectors under, con duck collect debt collectors under contract to stop collections on accounts. Listen to this. This is uh, consumerist Ashley Keeler. She reports, consumers who expected their student loan payments to be deducted from their bank accounts this month had reportedly found the funds untouched and their calls to the companies unanswered thanks to the Department of Education's order prohibiting the debt collection companies from working on defaulted accounts in response to two lawsuits against the agency. The strange turn of events began with a lawsuit filed by two debt collection companies who claimed they were unfairly fired by the Obama-era Education Department for poor performance. So on April 21st, the government ordered the debt collectors involved in the suit to stop working altogether on defaulted accounts. No phone calls, no withdrawals, from student accounts, nothing. The Education Department and Justice Department are partly to blame for unnecessarily throwing a wrench into the entire defaulted loan system. No, yeah, yes, they are to blame, but I will say this. We are in this place now because there is a horrible preconceived notion in America that if you go to a four-year university, you come out, you're gonna make big bucks. That's just not the case anymore. I'm going to give you an example. And this is um, prior to me going to college, but it just goes to show you where the state of the world is th these days. And it also depends in which part of the country you live in. But when I got out of the Navy in early 2001, um, I got a job after amassing six years experience <clears throat> in the military. And my starting wage when I got out was $22.48 an hour. And I didn't have a degree, so I was a technician. Okay? Fast forward now to 2017. That same person with the same experience I had is making $14, $15 an hour now gone way backwards, right, in the grand scheme of things. Same with wages across the board, whether you go to a four-year university or not. Now, tuition hasn't gone down, but wages certainly have, and the ability for people to pay back these student loans certainly have. So this is one of the major problems that we deal with today is the fact that people are sold a bill of goods. They take on this debt, which you really don't... 
there's no real approval process for it. You just go to school. Your approval process is you get accepted into a four-year university, which at this time, I mean, they're basically going to accept mostly anybody they can, you know, to make as big a buck as they can because it's really become a money-making scheme. And then people go to school, and when they get out of school, they have up to five years where they don't have to pay. You can use it at, uh, five years up front. You can use it five years during the life of the loan, but five years, you don't have to pay. And when you run out of time with that, then you start hitting crisis mode. All the while in those five years, by the way, you're amassing interest. So, and, and by, let me tell you this too, 6.8%. It's not like, uh, you know, some of the mortgage rates you see, 3%, 3 4%. No, 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 6.8%. It's really high. And so there's a lot of people out there struggling. You want to know why a lot of uh, uh, kids live with their parents till they're 30, 35 years old? Because they can't afford to live out on their own. It's not like it used to be. We're slowly becoming or going full circle back to having multi-generational housing, much like we did during the Great Depression. And this idea that going to a four-year university is going to solve all your issues and embark you on this career of, of prosperity is a big misconception. But it's some good news that some people got a, re a reprieve. 91,000 people got a reprieve from being a debt slave. How long it lasts? I don't know. But I can tell you, you want to go make the money, folks? Do it on your own. Become an entrepreneur. Be your own boss. Take the plunge, be innovative, and don't give your money away to a four-year university that will promise you the world but deliver nothing. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website over at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.